video is my April favorites where I show you my favorite things that I've been using throughout this month. To be honest, there aren't that many because I didn't really do much this month. The first thing that I have been loving this month is from OPI. It is their Infinite Shine 2 and this color is your blushing again. So this is just another neutral color. It's a blush pink and I have been loving this. I pretty much can only do neutral nail polish and if a character that I'm playing has interesting nail polish, they're doing it on set. So for myself, I can really only have pinks and nudes. So this one is a little bit lighter than what I usually do and that kind of makes it a little bit more fun. So I've been loving that nail polish that OPI sent me. My favorite lip product this month I got from YSL and it is their Glossy Lip Stain. This one, the color is number 47 actually know the name of that color but I'm gonna put this on right now it is so colorful it has kind of a funny little flat dough tip applicator that I've been seeing a lot of recently so that is it with two layers on and I'll put on a third layer so you can see just how buildable this is and there it is so it will lose a little bit of its glossiness, but then when you reapply it comes back and the color stays really bright. So when I had one layer of it on, that's pretty much how bright it would stay once it's worn off from eating or drinking or whatever. So I have been loving that one. Next three things were sent to me by Sexy Hair and I have been testing them out, some of them over the course of a couple of months. So the first one is Hot Sexy Hair, and this is a heat protectant spray. So even though I'm wearing my hair curly now for the most part, there are times when I get on set and they'll straighten it, or I get on set and they want to curl up little bits that might have gotten straight or frizzy or whatever, in which case, usually they're okay and they have heat protectant spray that they'll use, but sometimes they're kind of a pain about it, so I just bring my own so they can never argue with me about it. I know that sounds terrible, but um, how do I say this? Sometimes on set, hairstylists have attitude for no reason, and it's gonna take them, you know, five seconds longer to put a heat protectant in your hair, and they just don't want to, and that's frustrating. So you kind of have to push for it, which is is weird. I don't understand that one, but it happens. So I have that. It protects my hair. It smells really good. Um, how would I describe that? It's kind of like a fresh spa scent, like the fragrances that they spray in the room when you get a massage, something kind of like that. The next things that I have been loving are the Long Sexy Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. They're, um, they're pretty much completely gone because I've been using them for a while. And like I said, even though I'm wearing my hair curly, sometimes I do have to straighten it for certain projects. And when that is the case, then I like using that shampoo before because it gives my hair a lot of slip. It makes it really easy to detangle in the shower. And I can pretty much just wash it, put it up in a tight bun before I go to bed. And for the most part, it's almost completely straight when I dry it. Sometimes I wake up, the bun is still wet. I have to blast it with some heat. And then I let it down and I can just do a little bit of a blowout and not have to put too much heat on it because it's already pretty smooth. And the third item from Sexy Hair is their Curly Sexy Hair Curl Power. This is basically a foam. This is what I have in my hair right now. And um, it's kind of different. It's like a regular mousse, but in a spray bottle. So you just spray it, at least I do. I spray it into my hand like that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Spray it into an over damp hair. I think I tried spraying it into my hair and it was kind of messy. So I just spray it into my hand now to kind of contain all the fluff that flies up when you spray it out. But then I just scrunch it up into my hair using upward motions. And I'm just doing a little bit of this because I already have it in my hair. So what my hair looks like now, as you can see, is what it looks like when I put that in my hair and then I let it dry on top of my head wrapped up in a scarf. Now what's nice about that product is if I'm really in a hurry and I don't have to look amazing, I can look 
a little less polished, a little more relaxed. I can just put this into my damp hair and then scrunch it up real quick and it won't dry in curls the way it is when I put it on top of my head, but it will dry in like loose beachy waves and it's just really fast and easy to use. My spring fragrance is probably the same as my last video. I think I keep showing you guys this. It's Daisy from Marc Jacobs. I love the bottle. I love the fragrance. It smells like daisies and roses and fresh cut grass and springtime. I love it. Even though it's rainy today, which I love even more, this is a great fragrance for kind of like getting me in the springtime mood, despite the fact that I hate the sun. The last skincare item I'm going to show you is from Dosense Pro. This is a skincare cupping set. And let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video on how to do facial cupping, if you want to see cupping for cellulite tutorials. It, it can do really amazing things for your skin. It comes with these two big silicone cups, which are great for cellulite on your legs, thighs, butt, wherever. And then it has these two smaller ones, which I use for facial cupping and they are so easy to use. You just put whatever facial oil you need on your skin, and I don't have a lot, so I can't really show you exactly how it works, especially over my makeup, but you just apply a little bit of pressure to the cup and then release that pressure. Same way you did like putting a, I don't know, plastic cup over your mouth when you were a kid and making it stick there. Same kind of principle. And by doing facial massage with this, you can reduce wrinkles, it increases circulation to your skin, which is always ideal for helping your skin repair itself, keeping it supple, moisturized, all that good stuff. And I've been using this on my infamous forehead furrow wrinkle, and I have been loving the results. So. Yeah, let me know if you want to see a video on how to use these little guys. And the last item I'm going to show you, I usually do foods at the beginning of my favorites videos, but um, I knew if I did that I would end up eating them and then they'd be in my teeth for the rest of the video, so I waited till the end. These are my pretty much favorite cookies right now. They're from Goody Girl Cookies and they are called Mint Slims, and yes. They are what you think they are. They're basically a gluten-free Thin Mint, which is revolutionary, let me tell you. They're certified gluten-free, peanut-free, and they're kosher. So they're not vegan, which, I mean, whatever. I try and do a lot of vegan products for the most part because I am pretty sensitive to most animal products, but for me, gluten-free is the main requirement, and these are just... They're amazing. So I wouldn't say they're good for you necessarily because they are a cookie and they're chock full of sugar and they have oil in them and stuff, but they contain most of the ingredients that you would find if you baked your own at home and fewer of the other random preservative junk. So highly recommend those. Those have been my favorite. So those are all of my favorites for this past month. If you want me to try out new stuff, especially gluten-free snacks, because I am all about that life, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos like this and you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps my videos get seen.